all roads have led to this. The NBA Finals, the first time the Charlotte Hornets are in the NBA Finals. Let me do that real quick. Let me look that up. That is correct. This is the first ever appearance in the NBA Finals for the Charlotte Hornets. And this will be the sixth. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm right. Sixth time the San Antonio Spurs will be in the NBA Finals led by their new duo of Giannis and Anthony Davis. Their team is still young with the men Thompson and Malachi Bronham, who made, gave me work this season when we played each other. He's having an okay playoff run. Giannis, not scoring much, but he's shooting 42% from 380, only scoring. Wow, who's doing all their scoring? I guess it's just a balanced effort. But yep, the Hornets in the finals for the first time. The Spurs in the finals for the sixth time. The Spurs looking for, I believe, will be their sixth championship of franchise history. The Hornets looking for their first. And we actually get home court advantage in these finals. We have the same record, the Spurs and the Hornets. But I assume we have the tiebreaker over them in the regular season. Actually, we might have split the regular season because we lost to them once. We won the second time. So it must be conference or division record and here we go the jump ball i did make another rotation change to start this finals nick richards is getting the nod at center and will be tasked with trying to slow down Giannis as lamella ball already doing what he usually does best Aiton misses his first shot so yeah i put richards at center because he's going to have the better defense in the shot blocking to try and guard AD. And Aiton is going to be playing power forward to try and slow down. And Aiton's a better perimeter defender than Mr. Nick Richards. And right there, uh, ain't a good start. Ain't a good start at all. Now, I won't lie. We are completely outmatched here. If we struggle with Mobley and Aiton with the, uh, Aiton. Mobley and Allen with the glass, it's going to be even worse with Giannis and Anthony Davis, two of arguably the greatest big men to ever play the game. So, yeah, I'm not exactly excited about this matchup. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, wow, I am 0 for 3 to start this game. And though, great showing right there on the offensive glass. I would not be surprised if we got waxed up in five or six games. Would not be surprised at all. We are just not suited to compete with this team or match up with this team at all with their size as see ad just an easy bucket over nick richard so i mean hey it's experience that's all that matters in the nba finals the fact that we made it is huge it's going to make us probably more of a defense not defense more of a free agency destination now so now i might be able to go after some of the bigger names that before Definitely would not have came here due to our lack of success. But since we've made the NBA Finals now and the Eastern Conference Finals in back-to-back -back seasons, I feel like we might be able to get a bigger name out there, whether that be a trade or even a free agency signing. Because I believe we will have cap space because the only max players on our um, contract on the books are Aiton and LaMelo. Other than that, we have money. I think Lowry's only making like 16 mil, but I don't think he's going to be a member of this team next season. So we can use him in a package. Uh, other than that, I'm still on my rookie deal. Nick Richards is on a very team-friendly deal. He's making like two mil a year. Jay Rich is on a minimum. He'll be a free agent, and I plan on trying to bring him back. I think it would be great off the bench. Um, but yeah, we need an upgrade at power forward, and we need an upgrade at small forward for next season. Mainly a defensive power forward uh, to try and help Aiton a little bit as Richardson misses that one. And probably more of a scoring, slashing. Actually, no, probably a spot-up shooting. Small forward. Cedric Lewis has been on it tonight. And that's going to continue. 15 first quarter points. The Spurs need a timeout. 10 seconds left. Spurs looking to get the last shot of the first quarter. We have a 7-point lead so far. I was trying to bait them into passing it. And they did not. As we are going into the second quarter with a 7-point lead. You would think... That um, ESPN, you know, with their amazing percentages, given the Heat at 3% chance to beat the Celtics, they would give most of the odds, I feel like, would be in the Spurs' favor to win this series. Just with their back, I mean, their front court and how much we struggled against the Cavaliers as I get subbed out. You would think the Spurs are the heavy favorites, and I would, I'm going to assume that in this fictional universe we live in. And the Hornets, up by five, scoring off of assist and in the paint, have just been dominant. In this game, and it's going to continue. Cedric Lewis with 17. Oh, what a steal. 
I don't know how the hell Buddy Hill thought he was getting that pass off. Oh, he's throwing the lob to Lewis. It's good. 10-point lead for the Hornets. 21-point first half so far for Cedric Lewis. Trying to make his case to win his first ever championship and a finals MVP. But their rookie, I don't know how to say his name, Ristic, knocks it down in the corner. Cuts the lead back to 7 I mean, the Spurs are hanging along in here in this game. Eight, and this should be easy buckets for you or not. You know, it's fine. I'll, I'll throw you in the post. You'll take a dumb post fadeaway like your Kobe. Uh, back him down, please. Back him down, please. Eight, and what are we doing? There you go. Back him down. Use your strength. Easy lay. Nine-point lead. And what has been our strong suit in this game, which I would never have expected, has been our interior defense. Nick Richards has had it locked down. I've had the perimeter locked down. Whoever I'm guarding has not really been able to get any threes off. I don't think I've allowed one three as I get a block. I don't think I've allowed one three. Nick Ridges had that paint locked down as I get blocked. Always, most of the time, Tyus Jones is running towards me for some reason. It don't matter. I'm going right into that right, uh, blah, 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 paint. 13-point lead. Nine seconds left. They inbound it to Buddy Heald. I feel like I should have got the steal there. Buddy Heald, five, four, three. Two, one, gets a shot off, way off. Up by 13. I have not allowed a single three-pointer so far in this game. As we start off this second half with the Malachi Branham bucket, it's only his second point of the game. He's two for eight. Uh, Cedric Lewis has yet to get any rest in this NBA Finals game, which I am all for, as he knocks down another three. Cedric Lewis is unstoppable right now, shooting about 60% from the field. 14 point lead and he has yet to sit in this NBA Finals game and that is going to be the first three I give up. No, it's not. Malachi Branham misses the wide open three and the Hornets have a chance to extend their already large lead. Lamella Ball, he's going to get a decent looking shot, but it's off. He is our second leading scorer. Lamella's got 11 right now in this game, which is huge as, ooh, I should have got that steal. And these Spurs... Just have no answer right now for this Hornets offense. Malachi Branham is 3 of 11. He is ice cold. They can't get anything going on offense. Their only hope right now is that right there, I guess, drawing a foul. If I was guarding him, that ain't a foul. Just an FYI, but Jay Rich wanted to switch. I gave him it. And let's not forget that Malachi Branham dropped 30 on me in our first meeting in the regular season. And now he's got, I think, 6 points in this game on 3 of 11 shooting. Not going great for him. That's basically like the TJ Warren, Jimmy Butler beef. In the regular season or at the start of the bubble, Jimmy Butler, I mean, uh, TJ Warren was balling. And everyone was like, oh, TJ Warren's going to cook Butler. And then Jimmy shut him up when the playoffs came around. That is what's happening right now between Lewis and Malachi Bronham. Bronham's a younger player. He was cooking me in the regular season. Actually, we're both around the same age, probably. We're both, I forgot that Cedric is uh, only in his second year. But there were, he cooked me in the regular season. Coming into these finals, they're probably like, oh, Bronham's going to go off. Cedric can't guard him. Well, we're figuring that out right now, that Cedric Lewis is the best defender in this league. As Giannis, I was going to say he had to have missed a free throw here. Fast break here. Going on the break. I was really hoping Jay Rich would cut. Okay, I got to go up with that. I wanted to go up about 15 different times, and it wouldn't let me. Eight seconds left in the third quarter. 15-point lead. It's deteriorated a little bit because I've been trying to get my teammates involved. And, of course, in 2K fashion, they can't score. 3, 2, 1. I wanted the block there, but I didn't get it. 71-88 is your score going into the fourth. I feel like we have this game on lockdown. I will... Oh, wait, no, I've gotten subbed out in this game before. I forgot I did in the um, start of the second quarter. So I imagine I will get subbed out to start the fourth. And I do get subbed out to start the fourth. Let's see how this unit on the court can um, do. And 16-point lead, 8 minutes left. I think it's it's not over, over, but it's safe to say it's over. Yeah, that mystery throw says it all. It, it's over. Wow. It's a 7-point game. We cannot score right now, and we cannot stop. There's no way he hits that. Oh, my God. They just cut the lead to 4. They just cut the lead to 4. Lamelo has missed, like, 4 wide-open shots. Oh, this is about to be an ultimate collapse. This is about to be an ultimate collapse. Why is Aiden right there? Why is he in right there? And then LaMelo goes over there too. And I missed another layup. I missed another layup. 
There is no way. No, 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 no. This cannot happen. Why did I get switched to 80? Why did I get switched to 80? Nick Richards. Uh, it's, it's over. It's over. Great defense, LaMelo. Two-point game. Two-point game. What has happened? What has happened? Why do you guys keep going in the direction I want to run? And then Aiden's going to set up shop there. I have no stamina. No stamina whatsoever. I'm about, I'm about to go back court. I'm about to go back court. Aiden, please, for the love of God. Thank you. Oh, down court. Who? No one's guarding Giannis. And then Malachi Braun is wide open in the corner. He missed, though. He can't hit anything. He can't throw a rock in the ocean right now. I'm sitting on this ball. I'm sitting on it. Going under a minute. All right, Nick Richards, you were taking way too long to set a screen. LaMelo, bad shot. You hit that, but you can't hit a wide open three, LaMelo. Wow, bro. You are the weirdest player I've ever played with. There's honestly no reason why it should even be this close right now. No reason. No reason why it should be this close right now. Nick Richards, defense, defense, post fade. It's good. It was an early release, too. Four-point game, 43 seconds left. You got to get that ball to me. Yep, they're going to foul. Right, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'm the best free throw shooter on the team. There we go. Malachi, he's not going to foul. He's not going to foul. LaMelo, I need to give it to you. Don't shoot it. He shot it, and he missed. Why would you shoot it? Why would you shoot it, LaMelo? And then that's going to be a foul on Josh Richardson. He's going to the line. Giannis hit the first. Can he hit the second? He does. Of course he does. Yeah, it's Giannis. Yeah, yeah. Giannis is known for it. Give me the ball, Nick Richards. They're not going to foul, and they do. 27.5 seconds left. Spurs down by four. They were down by 20 at one point. Clawed all the way back in this fourth quarter. LaMelo gets what will possibly be the game stealing steal if he knocks down both these free throws. He knocks down the first. He knocks down the second one. It's game over. They have no timeouts. He does. LaMelo Ball saves his own ass. I mean, they could run down here and launch a three, but I doubt they'll make it. I mean, Thompson, you need, a, you need a three right now. You need to score right now, and they are taking their sweet time. They're going to settle for a two, it looks like. Why are they taking so long? Anthony Davis is taking his sweet time. They're not even going to get a good shot off. And that's going to be game. And they subbed me out at the end for some some stupid reason. I don't know why. But that is going to be it. We survive the comeback mounted by the Spurs and win 109-117 and take a 1-0 series lead in these NBA Finals. Final box score, Cedric Lewis, 51 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists. Stealing a block, struggling with the turnovers, man. Four turnovers, 16-27 from the field. Did not miss a three all game. Uh, I can't say that for LaMelo Ball. And 14-14 from the free throw line. LaMelo Ball... He was having a really good game up until that second half. In the first half, 11 points, 4 of 7. And then the second half came, 12 points, 3 of 11. 0 of 4 from downtown. You, you may look at his stat line and say that's good. These shooting splits are not. They're not at all. Jay Rich had 12. He had two threes. That was big. Aiden had 12 points, 10 rebounds. But most importantly, him and Nick Richards combined for six blocks. That was huge. That is huge. No one else contributed nothing. Uh, for the Spurs, AD dropped 30. Giannis dropped 25. He only attempted 11 shots in this game. And Amen Thompson dropped 18. Malachi Bronham, 10 points, 4 of 14, did not hit a 3. But he healed 3 of 13, 2 of 10. He hit one three-pointer on me. So this entire game, the Spurs, shooting guards of Buddy Heald and Malachi Bronham were 1 of 16 for 3 against me. That That's saying, that's saying a lot. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG.